work is underway to convert this 35,000 square foot space just south of the Ballard Bridge into a fully staffed safe RV parking lot. And eventually it'll host up to 10 tiny homes. The project is the work of the Low Income Housing Institute, a group that tonight is responding to public plans that a mixed use apartment building complete with as many as 22 pickleball courts are also planned for the same location. I think there has been some confusion that this pickleball court is somehow kicking us out or that we're being pushed out and or slowing us down. It's neither of those things. We're still moving forward as planned and will be opened in about six weeks or so. It's gonna have a fence put up around. Back in May, King Five was there at a packed community meeting where neighbors pushed back against what they were told was a done deal. Well, I would love it if we had a place for 500 vehicles. It sounds like a lot of the RVs that you're bringing on site will already have issues. What promise can you make to us that this place will not become a junk spot? Tonight, Lehigh claiming the entire project was always supposed to be temporary. Lehigh clarifying tonight that they have a five year lease with the property owner. Say they knew they'd have to move what will be the first RV safe parking lot in Seattle at some point. But say plans are moving forward to build it here regardless. The tiny homes planned for the location would be packed up and moved elsewhere too. Something that John Grant, Lehigh's chief strategy officer, calls standard practice in the world of low income and temporary housing. So the RV safe lot is a really important resource to our community. There's so many folks sleeping in their vehicles tonight. Uh, so we have to get this open and we know that we have assurances from the owner that we'll be able to operate there for many years before the pickleball court is even an issue. That pickleball facility and apartment complex aren't set to move forward until 2025. Until then, Salmon Bay Village is closer to becoming a reality, a community they hope will stay for as long as the property owners will have them. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News. So King 5 reached out to the property owner and financier who is listed as a co-owner of the Seattle Storm for a comment late this afternoon, but have not heard back yet.